I thought we'd do a teas in a day version where I drink all teas that I rarely drink. There's nothing wrong with any of the teas that I have in my stash. I just choose, I just tend to choose all the same ones. So I'm going to pick teas today that I hardly ever drink. So this tea, I've already had two cups of coffee. Um, so I'm going with something decaf and this is Audacious from Magic Hour. And this is their traveler size jar. And so it's not a very big jar, but I ordered this to try it instead of getting a big bag. I thought based on like reviews in the description that I would absolutely love this tea. And to me, it's just okay, but it smells really good. It's, um, they advertise it as like a hazelnut kind of chocolate coffee type substitute. Um, and it is all herbal. So uh, there's no caffeine in it. And so I'm just going to put a scoop of that in my little Kinto teapot and use boiling water and steep it for, it says three to five minutes. Um, but this one has chicory root, cinnamon, eulothero root, ginseng, maca, roasted carob, dandelion root, burdock root, natural extracts of macadamia, hazelnut, and almond. And it's everything's organic in all of their teas, which I love. Their teas are a little bit on the pricey side, but uh, I think that I think that they are worth it if you find one that you really enjoy. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this steep and I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'll be back later to choose another tea. Do you guys have any teas in your stash that you enjoy drinking but you just never find yourself reaching for what teas are they what inspires you to drink those and why do you not reach for them very often these are kind of the questions that i'm thinking about today so let me know in the comments below what some of those teas for you might be okay so for my next tea i wanted a tea with no caffeine because i have already had some several cups of caffeine today so in addition to my two cups of coffee I went to Starbucks with Abby and um, I had a latte. So my favorite thing there is their honey almond milk latte, which I just get one pump of the honey. Um, otherwise it's too sweet for me, but that is what I had. So I've had quite a bit of caffeine. So we're going caffeine free for now. This is from One Love Tea. And I actually got this one at a farmer's market in California, which is where they're based in California. Um, but I have seen this company at my local natural food store. So you might find it locally to you in addition to online. So this is their caffeine-free wild cherry with lion's mane mushroom, um, loose leaf wellness tea. And so I'm going to steep this one. I'm going to put a couple scoops in there since I'm still kind of recovering from being sick. So I can use all the wellness I can get. Um, but this one says, let's see, help boost your immune system. With helpful mushrooms and herbs, this herbal infusion offers a very smooth, tart, and earthy finish. Try either iced or hot with your choice of sweetener. Now, when I've had this before, I didn't find I needed any sweetener because it didn't seem very tart to me. Um, just like a perfect hint of um, fruit in there. This says one teaspoon of tea for eight ounces hot water. Steep for three to five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go grab my water. So we'll just let that steep and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so my tea is ready. I'm just going to pour it and drink it and then I am headed to Pilates afterwards and I'll be back afterwards for lunch and some more tea. Okay, so for my next cup of tea, I chose this Poppin' Christmas Sweet and Salty from Bird and & Blend. And this tea is a green tea with Toasted rice, licorice, cardamom, puffed quinoa, calendula petals, and um, green tea. Did I say green tea? Anyway, so I was looking for a green tea to have, and this one sounded like it would be good. When I had this one before, I don't remember it being very sweet and salty tasting, but as I'm having it today, it does definitely have um, an element of both of those. It's a little bit like... It reminds me a little bit of a uh, genmaicha with the toasted rice, but there is a little bit of the sweetness in there from the licorice, and um, it's actually really lovely, and I have a lot of it left 
I just have not, I just keep thinking that it's not one of my favorites, so I don't grab it, but I need to grab this one more. You can see all the little puffed um, quinoa pieces in there and all the toasted rice and green tea and calendula petals. So it's a kind of a fun tea. I need to remember to grab this one more. And that's kind of the beauty of this type of challenge where you, um, I'm just kind of reminding myself of some of these teas that I don't always reach for, but I actually do like them quite a bit. Um, this wild cherry one was delicious. The audacious one, I'm still kind of on the fence about. It's just okay to me. Um, but these second two definitely um, are really yummy. Okay, so for my next cup of tea, I'm going to have this Renewal Oolong Tea by Magic Hour. And I remember when I first got this, I really liked it, but I actually just never pick it. So we're going to have it today. And it has these big goji berries in there. Let me see. It has organic tea kwan yin oolong tea, organic goji berries, organic roses, natural peach flavor. So you can see all the beautiful big pieces of tea and roses and goji berries. And I'm just going to get some into my teapot. Okay, so this says 195 degrees for two to three minutes. Those berries and roses are such a pretty pop of color in the tea. Okay, so it's been two minutes or maybe a little over two minutes and I think I will pour my tea. Sometimes I'm afraid if I let things steep too long, I won't like them. But then other times I wish I would have let them steep longer. So I just don't want to overdo this one just in case. This tea has such a nice light oolong flavor with the peach essence in there. It is so good. And I have a little bowl of popcorn here to snack on. It's kind of mid-afternoon and um, I know with these teas from Magic Hour, they actually recommend that you re-steep them a couple of times. So I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep them in my teapot because I'll keep using this. I guess I should have used a different teapot so I could have set it aside to re-steep it. What do you guys do? Do you re-steep your teas often? I like changing up what I drink and so I don't always want the same thing over and over. Um, so I tend not to re-steep very often. But let me know in the comments below what you guys like to do. Okay, we're having dinner and I made this roasted corn tea. It's a Korean tea. Um, the tea that they usually serve in restaurants is either corn tea or barley tea. Um, but since I try to stay away from gluten, we're doing the corn. And they have similar flavors. I think the barley might be a little better, a little stronger flavor. But you can have this hot or iced and you boil it with water and then strain it. So we just poured it into this little yes. teapot and we'll have it here with some teacups. I did try really hard today to pick teas that I don't normally drink, but at the end of the day, I really just wanted our good old lay digestive. So that's what we're having tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below and we will see you guys next time. Bye.